Alright, go early to my hand right now, man. Bro, look at this. It's going. Wow. Wait, wait, did you lock the door? Yeah, we locked it. Yeah. Alright, bro. Oh, I missed it, bro. <laughs> Damn it, you never hit it. I swear. Dennis, I just have a question, bro. When are you going to stop wearing black shirts? Hey, I think we need to get Dennis a white shirt. Would you guys want to see Dennis in a white shirt? No, I got a piece of white shirt. <laughs> Wait, who's filming? Flip the camera, who's filming? <laughs> Wait, what? It's time we introduce Dennis's brother to the video. So this is Danny, Dennis's brother. He's over here. What do you call him? What do you call him? Well, his name is Denobly. So you guys should get used to seeing him in the vlogs. He'll be in the videos a lot more, but we can't forget about Dennis. <laughs> okay, we could, we could forget about Dennis actually. That's Dennis's brother, the Nobly. D A N O B I double L I. since the game and every hour that passes it just keeps getting worse and worse and I keep losing feeling like my finger to my wrist just feels numb like I can't feel it right now <sighs> I'm really upset I'm very very upset because I'm probably gonna end up going to the doctors tomorrow and I already know they're gonna say that it's either sprained or god forbid if it's fractured that's even worse you guys know man basketball is my happiness basketball is my drug basketball is my getaway when I'm feeling down when I'm feeling upset like I spend hours and hours and hours of my life on the basketball court I commit my whole life to the basketball court I'm not gonna lie I mean you guys can make fun of me in the comment section you guys could call me whatever you want but basketball is my happiness trust me I'm praying and hoping that when I go to the doctors they surprise me and say something different but just hope that you know, it's not a sprain. Hopefully, it's not a fracture because that's even worse. Just to sit and think about Okay, guys, so we just got to the urgent care. We're about to get my hand checked out. It, it looks swollen. Usually, you would be at the gym today. And you, once I knew you weren't going to the gym, I said there's something wrong. Yeah, her. that's how you know it's bad. When I skip the gyms, I'm hoping, 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 I'm praying it's not sprained. I'm hoping, like I told Dennis this morning, if I go to the doctors and they tell me that it's just like a little swollen or just like bruised or something, I would be the happiest guy on earth. But if I go in there and they tell me it's like sprained or even, God forbid, fractured, I don't think it's fractured, but if they say something like that, I'm going to be really really upset so reason for visit hurt my hand cuz of <laughs> I should have put cuz of freaking basketball hey let's just say it's not broken are we gonna go play basketball <laughs> I'm just joking I can't don't say you're joking that's what gets me mad no I really can't but see why I can't how about that we'll see what they say but I'm just mad we lost the game yesterday <laughs> Yesterday. Any previous injuries to that hand? Any no. Like previous practice? Yeah, this is the good. first one on it. Is it? Is my blood pressure close to being bad? Because I eat a lot of fast food. No. Oh, really? <laughs> Alright, we'll have the provider come shortly. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, guys, so the doctor's about to come in right now to officially check the hand. Once again, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that it's nothing serious because. Number one, my tour is about to start, and it's a basketball tour, so if I'm gonna be in a cast, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So that's number one. Number two, basketball is like my happiness, so we'll just see. I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Your face is red. Bro, guys, we went to go take x-rays, and for the x-rays, I had to like, I had to like move it around to get it in position. Bro, I had to make it like this. I had to flatten out my whole hand and like press it on. Bro, I literally went, this is painful, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you just gotta stick through it, not be a little baby. But they're gonna look at the x-rays right now and give me the answer for sure in a couple minutes. So, no, 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 no. I tried to do a prayer hand. Hello. 
So what did you do? What happened? Uh, yesterday during my game, I kind of like threw the ball up and then the okay. dude was like a really big dude just trying to block it. Oh, like, slam down yeah, on your hand? Like, yeah, he like slammed down on my hand. Okay. So, okay. So, like, well, you broke it, my friend. Oh, it's broken? You did, yeah. So it's what we call the metacarpal. So the bones here look fine, but it's this bone right here that's broken. But I'm gonna need you to kind of keep these extended like that. Okay. And we're gonna run a little piece of like, it's like a hard piece of plastic essentially that would have become, and it's gonna run from here to about here. Uh -huh. So you can't move your fingers, all right? Uh, and then you'll need to follow up with orthopedics. It is in the forehand mm -hmm. there, and obviously it's going to need some sort of um, casting. Would you like to see it? Just to see what it looks like? Sure, come with you. So it's actually broken? Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can see the jagged piece there. So yeah. that's where it's broken. Uh huh. Exactly. Right. Yep. There, mm -hmm. and um, I'm pretty pissed off, but. I want his, hand, his fingers to be out straight. Mm -hmm. I know that hurts, I'm sorry. No, it's definitely broken. Yeah. When it happened, like I yeah. it didn't feel that bad right away. I actually kept playing. Oof. And then, yeah, and then you after, got some good pain tolerance. <laughs> yeah. And then um, obviously no surgery unless it like unless that it will be up to the hand surgeon. Okay. okay. I'm gonna look nice and see if we have to cut it. Yeah, we can actually we just do something like that. So then I'm just gonna kind of do the bottom end here. Sorry. It's gonna be rough. Try to keep your hands. As Why don't you lean back for me? Can you do me a huge favor? Mm -hmm. There's a little pull out thing for his feet. That just keep breathing, okay? Just tiny swoops. I'm gonna sit you up a little bit, okay? That's fine. There you go, that's perfect. We got gotcha. you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Would you like something a little bit stronger than ibuprofen for pain? Mm -hmm. Like some Vicodin or anything like that? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> so, it should be snug but not painful, okay? Yeah. Is that okay? And so when I remove it, do I have mm -hmm. to do this whole process over? You do. You do. I'm not taking this. Okay. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I swear I'm well, you don't want something stinky in your yeah. And don't try to have to find a girlfriend all the way till it's done. It's yeah. probably gonna sting. <laughs> so you're pretty pale, so why don't you lean back for me and uh, just relax? It's very normal with pain to it's called a vasovagal response. It's very normal when we hurt your hand there to have that response. So you look I don't even think it's the pain. I think I'm just mad that I'm going to be playing basketball. I've never gone this long without playing basketball. Oh, really? Wow, you're a basketball fiend, huh? Yeah. I was supposed to start like a basketball tour May 19th. What do you do? Um, I'm like a YouTuber. Oh. So um, I was going to do my first tour on May 19th. So I'm not going to let you up until your face comes back to a normal color, all right? Okay. So you just keep relaxing. I'm going to have her come in and do your vitals real quick. Um, really yeah. Yeah, you're really yeah. pale. So just lay your head back, okay? You good? Damn, it's broken. Bro? How are you playing the freaking league? Bro, honestly, like, they think I'm mad because of the pain. Like, yeah, it hurts like crazy. It's broken. But I'm just mad that I can't play basketball for, what, like two months? Yeah. Fuck, bro. Yeah. It's frustrating. It just pisses me off. <laughs> My tour starts in six weeks. It's not even about the pain. Like, yeah, I broke my hand. It hurts. Cool, whatever. It's just the the pain comes from knowing I won't be able to play basketball for, I don't know, two months, six to eight weeks. What is that? A month and a half, two months. I don't know how my mom's going to react to this. You guys know my mom. So um, I'm nervous to show her, but. Ooh, my bone falls apart. Feeling like I sold my soul. Devil in the form of a My mom has no idea, so I feel bad. I don't know how she's gonna take it. Bro, I just hope I don't need surgery. She was saying that she doesn't know if I need surgery or not. I have to talk to the um, the hand surgeon. I hear Brian's voice. Oh my god. Where? Really? I don't want to touch it. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. No way. Yeah. Did you feel it was broke? I kept playing. I made two free throws right after. 
I didn't know it was that bad. He didn't tell no, me. I thought it was going to be a sprain. I didn't even fall on it. You know what happened? Some big guy, like six foot five, three hundred pounds, tried to block me so hard he hit my hand. Oh he broke my, my hand. With his, it was the same guy that was flexing the whole video. So he was trying to act so strong by blocking me so hard, and he, yeah, he's right. He ended up blocking my hand. He ended up getting a foul, and then he ended up breaking my hand. No, that you know how got. Long it I know. It's, I can't play for two months. My tour, my tour starts in like a month and a half. It's six to eight weeks, a month and a half to two months, and that's if I don't need surgery. I have to go in a couple of days when the swelling goes down. And hey, damn, I can't play Fortnite. I'm pretty sure that's your main concern here. Oh no wonder Brian said you're gonna play when I'm running. And no, his hand was broken. Oh, oh wait, well, you know I almost fainted at the doctor's office. They had to. I couldn't leave. I turned pale because. Oh yeah, you turned pale to them. No, because of the pain. They had to make him like go oh, put his hands straight. Oh, you don't understand. I, I went like this. They straightened my hand. Oh, oh. Right away when they did that, everything started spinning. I started sweating. I, I was about to throw up. Oh. And she said, get him water, lay him down. I was about How to they do it without no numbing, no nothing? They nothing. Just, mm -hmm. I think it was the pain mixed with the news that I can't play basketball for two months. I swear everything started spinning. I was about to faint. Yeah, Damar. I can't be playing basketball for like the next two months. So the most I could do, watch basketball. Like, what did I do for Bosley to go over there and turn his back on me? Bosley, come here. Let me see your hand. It's okay. You know what, Bosley? As sad as I am as I broke my hand, it's okay that I did as long as you didn't. Okay? That's how much I love you, Bosley. As long as you didn't break your hand, it's okay that I did. Okay, whatever. You don't care. Okay, guys. So, right now, Dennis is about to sing. <laughs> Just listen. Yeah. Because Dennis, when he sings songs, he doesn't sing the lyrics. He sings what he wants himself to hear. Like, just look, you'll know what I'm they talking about. They think it's about. a joke, though. They think it's a joke. Listen, you know when you sing a song, you sing the actual lyrics? Dennis sings what he wants to freaking hear. Fish in, the, in, the, in my shit. Hey, I'm a shot caller. Don't mess with me. I'm a go wild. Don't stop me now. Hey, I'm a go through the shot caller. Hey, and I'm a hop in the bar hopper. So is that what they really say, Dennis? No, they don't know how to say it. Oh, they're thinking it wrong, huh? Oh yeah, doctor. That's the one. This is the one. <laughs> if you broke your hand, because I have to use that example. Okay, go. Hold on. I heard because uh, I heard. I heard what If you broke your hand, get some relief. Make it through here. Hey, Dennis, you Hamara. Now the pills are less effective. So I can do the job no more. Yeah, it's not. I can't look. Okay, so Danny is literally Dennis, but with a lighter beard and lighter eyes. Look, it's just <laughs> okay. Not anymore. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> hey, it's hard to flip. It's hard to flip the screen up, but flew you up. So guys, we're picking up some Aleve right now. Uh, hopefully it helps because the pain is excruciating. The doctor wanted to prescribe me Vicodin because she said the pain is that bad, but I don't mess with that stuff, so. I would take Vicodin. Oh, you would take Vicodin? Yeah. Yeah, but it makes you constipated, so you have to take <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that's exactly why I said no to Vicodin. <laughs> nah, but really, the nurse said that the pain in your hand looks so bad that she wanted to prescribe me Vicodin, but I told her, I said, I don't mess with that. You know, it's, I, I don't, I don't like those freaking heavy, like hardcore pills. I don't like that. I thought if I broke my hand, I'll take Vicodin. No, I turned it down. <laughs> I mean, so you gotta make the best of every situation. At least now you can look at this stuff, like what fun equipment. You Dennis, can get nothing is fun about this. Yeah, but now nothing. Stuff look cool and girls like, oh, I feel so bad. I don't need that. I'd rather play basketball and have girls say, oh, you're look. so ugly. Deluxe sta stabilizer. Okay, listen. Dennis, you flip, flip it. I can't even flip the screen. Okay. There's two types of people in this world. Oh wait, I'm holding up four fingers. There's two types of people in this world. Wait, I'm holding up, whatever. Here, there's two. There's two types of people in this world. There's one that wants to break his hand so that girls could feel bad for him and he could get girls. And there's another person who doesn't, Can just wants to, air a, who just wants to play basketball. Okay, so you'd rather not play basketball. Yeah, well, I don't want to play basketball, so that's a good excuse Oh yeah, true. And the second is they can say, oh honey, are you okay? Okay, what about the pain, it hurts. That's what medicine's for. But I'm gonna go like this. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> no, I'd rather play basketball and have every girl in the world say, Oh, you're ugly. I don't feel bad for you. I'd rather play basketball. Hey, the good thing about this, you can Millie Rock better. Can I explain my point now? Yeah. So look. Hey, so like right now, girl's gonna see you. Uh -huh. She's like, Oh my god, honey, are you okay? Okay, and then tomorrow morning when all my friends are playing basketball, I'm gonna be in my room not playing basketball. That's what, my point. With that one honey I was telling you about. Hey, I like this angle. 
do a peace sign with his hand. <laughs> so I want you to say something. Just what, what's in your head right now? Fast, go. Yeah, three seconds. One, two, what three. Do you, what do you think is on my head? No, say something in three seconds. Three, two, one. I can't play basketball, and that's my happiness. That's my drug. That's what relieves freaking every time I'm upset, every time I'm <laughs> mad, every time I'm sad. I, why are you laughing? I go to the basketball court. Bro, for three years straight, I've been playing basketball every single day. Like, this is something new to me, bro. Like, what do normal people do during their day? I, what do I do? Go to the beach? Like, go swimming? Sleep. You don't sleep. No, bro. Like, I don't know. What, am I supposed to go, like, eat breakfast? And Like, I don't know. I don't do that. I'm used to waking up, do my video, and hit the basketball court. Come back home, a couple hours later, hit the basketball court. Well, guys, everything that I was hoping wasn't true ended up being true. But at the end of the day, what can you do? I broke my hand. Everything happens for a reason, you know, I'll be fine in six to eight weeks, whatever. In two months, everything will be over with. I'm just hoping that time flies by. You know, I was going to sleep last night. I'm not going to lie, I was in a lot of pain. It was hard for me to go to sleep. You know, I don't really like to take all this, like, hardcore medicine and stuff like that. So I was just trying to sleep naturally. And I just started thinking to myself, like, you know, I play so much basketball. I play every single day for hours and hours and hours that things like this are bound to happen. And I'm just glad it's not something worse. A broken hand is bad, but it could have been much worse. So right now, <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. And usually I would be at the gym playing basketball, so I'm not gonna lie, it feels weird being at home at this time. But I guess what this does, it opens up an opportunity for me to spend more time with family, spend some time with friends that I don't usually see every day. Um, just kind of explore, you know? My whole life is committed to basketball, so I feel like something like this happening kind of just you know, Brandon, go explore other things in the world. You know, Brandon, there's other things to do than playing basketball. You know, what do normal people do on this earth? Hey, but don't get me wrong. Once these eight weeks are over, it's back to basketball every single day. I'm already looking forward to it. I'm already counting down. Um, obviously, I'm hoping that I don't need surgery. I need to go in a couple of days to the hand surgeon. He will give me a final answer. Um, this cast also is just temporary. They're going to take this off and put the official hard cast, you know, the one that freaking the hard one yeah it sucks especially with my first tour coming up i was so excited um i need to talk to my manager about that I, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet because as you guys know it was like kind of like a basketball tour and um i think after i go to the hand surgeon i will see if my tour will still start on time don't get me wrong I'm still gonna be doing my tour. Everything is still in place, but I might have to delay it like one week or maybe two weeks. I don't know yet. I'll obviously keep you guys updated. Another thing that sucks is that that was our first game of the season, the first game. We just won the championship last season, so I was ready, I was hyped to repeat, to win another championship. And the first game of the season, boom, broken hand. So it sucks. But obviously, I told my teammates, you know, you guys got this. Take care of business. I'll be there every single game supporting and cheering and watching the games from the bench. Man, this just sucks. It sucks. But like I said, I got to find other things to do other than basketball. I can't just be sitting at home all day because the world is a beautiful place. The world is a huge place. And I'm sure there's other things to do other than playing basketball. So... I'm keep you guys updated on everything. Don't get me wrong, you know, this is just a little bump in the road. You know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I know it's cliche, but it's the truth. So I feel like I'm gonna come back stronger from this injury. I feel like once I get the cast off and I start playing again, I'm gonna be better than ever. I'm gonna be better than what I once was. And you know, this is just a little knock. It's nothing too serious. And hopefully these two months go by fast. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for the overwhelming support because, you know, I'm sure a lot of people don't understand what it's like to not be able to do what you love and, you know, being pushed away from my passion, which is basketball. But at the same time, I'm sure there's a lot of people who do understand what that feels like. So thank you guys for all your support. I'm serious. It makes me feel a whole lot better. Yeah, subscribe to this channel if you're new. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Other than that, Brandon here, aka Brawadis. I love you guys all, every single one of you guys. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right.